Do you want to heal like Wolverine? BPC-157. What is it? Now, all over the world, fitness enthusiasts, bodybuilders, and just everybody that wants to get healthy are interested in peptides and SARMs. But what are they? What do they do for your body? And these have different pathways as far as muscular development, tissue healing, side effects, and benefits. Now, despite their widespread usage, a lot of people are still in the dark about what these things are, what they do, and how they can help you, and if there are side effects and really how to use them, when to use them, and what type of people are using them. Whether you're into fitness or not, I bet you're into feeling better. And I'm gonna talk about BPC-157, which yes, is said to heal you twice as fast as you would normally heal and heal like Wolverine. In this video, we're gonna talk about BPC-157 peptide, how you should take it, when you should take it, what it is, any side effects whatsoever, and where you can get it. You ready? Let's dive in. Are you looking to heal much faster and improve your athletic performance? Maybe you need to heal your gut or you have an ACL injury or a shoulder injury. BPC-157 is what you're looking for. With little to no side effects, BPC-157 can be incorporated into your recovery protocol to help you heal much faster with, as I said, barely any side effects. So let's get to addressing the elephant in the room of what is BPC-157 and how can it help optimize your health. BPC-157 stands for Body Protective Compound. Now this is a peptide. A peptide is a compilation of amino acids and this is 15 specific amino acids that help heal your body. Now since the sequence of peptides isn't available in nature, it's considered a synthetic substance that you're putting into your body. But the interesting thing is BPC-157 actually comes from making the things that are in your gut. Now this is a protective compound that is literally in your gut and that's how they develop BPC-157. Numerous studies on humans and lab rats and mice, because yes, that's what we study, have shown the tremendous, tremendous benefits of BPC-157, how it can help with healing, gut healing, and a bunch of other things with barely any side effects. Now, BPC-157 triggers a pathway to form new blood cells known as angiogenesis. Now, this basically just promotes healing much faster than you normally have on your own without something like a peptide. Now, it also works by preventing the growth inhibiting effects of a molecule named 4-hydroxynonanol. So when you buy BPC-157, it's going to stimulate these tendon cells and help you just heal so much faster because it's helping that regeneration of all of these cells. Now I'm sure you're wondering, should I buy BPC-157, right? Well, here's a list of the various benefits that it can have for you. Now it can help heal your gut and inflammation, helps cure and heal stomach ulcers, improves wound healing, increases cellular regeneration, boosts bone and joint healing, heals organ damage, muscle reducing wastage, promotes growth and muscular development by angiogenesis, influences neurotransmitters, which could help with your brain, lowers blood pressure, and also can help reduce the risk of having too much potassium. Now, I wanna mention my opinion on one of the things that I feel like is the most important with the positive benefits of BPC-157, and that is the gut healing properties. Now, BPC-157 helps stabilize the gut-brain axis. This is in charge of the interaction between the nervous system, the gut, the microbiome, and the immune system. It can also help with esophageal reflux, esophageal anastomosis, ulcerative colitis, and intestinal swelling, which are all part of inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. Sometimes people might call it IBS. Now, people obviously with IBD could tremendously benefit from the wound healing properties and the gut healing properties of BPC-1. The next one is really smart. Brain health. Uh, BBC 157 helps trigger neurons and heal your brain, which could really help with traumatic brain injuries. It's also been shown to potentially help with 
uh, seizures, inflammation in the brain, and all sorts of harmful processes of maybe taking additional substances that could mess with your brain. Now this also stabilizes the certain hormones like serotonin and BPC-157 may also promote mental health by improving depression type symptoms. I know it's something I'm very familiar with. Now research published in the Journal of Physiology showed that BPC-157 had similar effects to actually taking antidepressants with no side effects. It even helped increase mobility in chronically stressed rats. Now another thing I want to mention is the amazing healing capabilities of BPC-157. In addition to its protective capabilities, BPC-157 has a tremendous ability to heal. Now it can be used for injuries, which is a major reason why it's become so important uh, for athletes and everyday fitness people and people that have lagging injuries or something that just chronically happens when you're working out. It should be noted that healing is a complicated physiological process. And while this process is continuous, it can be divided into four phases. There's the coagulation phase and homeostasis, inflammation phase, proliferation, and wound remodeling with scar tissue formation. With emerging evidence demonstrating that several peptides play critical roles in the inflammatory response during wound healing, BPC-157, in tandem with several other peptides, is being used as a part of a comprehensive therapeutic approach to acute and chronic wound healing management. It can also be useful for burns, cuts, and damaged skin. What's really impressive about this peptide is it can help heal you internally and also external wounds. It's useful for healing injuries to your tendons, ligaments, muscles, and even bones. How, you ask? Well, I'll tell you how. Now, BPC-157 stimulates certain genes, right? So this is basically going to help heal damaged tissue because it increases the number of repairing enzymes in your body. Growth hormone sensitivity, as well as enhancing the proliferating effects of growth hormone. Now, it also regulates collagen organization, which I know that people hear collagen is very good for you and internally in your body, it, this is really going to help with it, which is essential for quicker healing. And here's a note with taking collagen supplements, not even about BPC. PC-157, take it about an hour before your workout so it's in your bloodstream. That's when the research says it helps the most. BPC-157 is considered a critical piece to the healing process. With its ability to regenerate nerves, which is often the most frustrating thing when recovering from a lingering injury or a new injury, the effects of BPC-157 should be considered in the recovery process, but obviously you want to talk with a medical professional about this. Now, before you run out and stop this video and say, I'm just gonna go ahead and get BPC-157, this dude has convinced me. Remember, this is a synthetic substance and everybody is different. BPC-157 is still being experimented on and generally it's being used on animals and there's a bunch of anecdotal evidence from humans and biohackers that have been using it on their own and doctors prescribing it. And I've taken it myself and it's really helped me. Now, some common effects of peptides include maybe some lightheadedness, some dizziness, some pain with the injection site, or maybe a little bit of flushing of the skin. But with BPC-157 myself, I have never experienced any of this. Now, obviously, if you have pre-existing medical conditions, you may be at a higher risk of developing some sort of side effect. And obviously, check with your doctor on all these sorts of things, pregnant, nursing, all that, you should be doing that definitely. Now, I know I've mentioned doctors several times, but go to a licensed doctor that can test you to see if you should be taking BPC-157 or they know your medical history and they can prescribe it themselves. Now, the dosage with BPC-157 could be a little bit tricky because there's not a ton of human trials right now, but um, let's talk about it a little bit. Now, the general dosage is about 600 micrograms. This is for an individual who weighs 60 kilograms or about 132 pounds. Now, if you're a female, you may require even lower doses. Furthermore, if you're taking any other pain relieving compounds or anything else, I mean, the dosage may go all the way down to 250, but um, it's a little bit different. So 600 micrograms, I might take a little bit more because that's for about a 130 pound person. So taking BPC-157 is going to be generally in an injectable form where you're going to take it with an insulin needle, a tiny little insulin needle kind of in your stomach and the flap of your stomach, maybe in your shoulder, in your glute. And there is some anecdotal evidence that if you actually injure your quad or your shoulder or chest or something like that, injecting BPC-157 directly locally into that area may heal that area faster. I know I've done that on my own and actually I think that it helped whether it's my mind or my body, it made me feel better. And remember, 
Talk to your doctor, talk to your doctor, talk to your doctor. Now, you're getting to the point with saying, okay, where can I buy BPC-157? You've convinced me, where can I get it? Well, I answered part of the question for you is you need to talk to your doctor because they can prescribe this directly to you for your body. People have asked me where I get my peptides from. Well, I actually do get mine from a doctor, but there are a number of online sources that might say for research only, okay? and that is how they're getting around having to prescribe this. So this is something that you have to order on your own, look at it, but make sure you're looking at a website. If you're gonna go this route, I always say go to a doctor first, but for research purposes only, and look if they have third party verified testing for purity in their products, because the internet is the wild, wild west and people will take advantage, but there are some websites where you might be able to find some high quality peptides that are for research based only. Now, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to check out my video on the top five peptides for muscle growth. Now, if you already watched that, maybe you want to know if you can combine CJC1295 with Ipamorelin, and if so, you can check out that video because I have it for you. You're welcome. And that's it. You know to do all the things the YouTube algorithm loves when you like and comment and share and do all the things on this and I love it too. I do respond to everybody. Truly, thank you so much for finding my channel. I really do appreciate it. As you probably see, I put a lot of time and effort into this and I just wanna to, want to thank you for being here. Cheers, follow me on all other social channels at Joey Thurman Fit. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, online coaching, go to joeythurman.com, one-on-one -on -one coaching and fill out the form.